here's what I know. I've worked with all different types of people. I've worked with a person just like you. I may not know you, probably don't know you yet. I hope to soon. But I guarantee you, regardless of who you are, your background, your circumstances, your strengths, your weaknesses, I've worked with somebody just like you. But those people who would come in and take the personal development and let that be the foundation to drive the actions that we give you to build a business, those are always the ones who are successful. So through that process, I started coming up with this thought process called The Slight Edge. That book is in your kit. I ask you to read it. It's probably the most read book right now in this industry as far as a philosophy to drive your business. The Slight Edge is based on the anti-quantum leap. What it, what it basically says is, what I found is that successful people, they do the little things that seem to make no difference at all in the act of doing them, and they just do them over and over and over and over and over and over with consistency persistency over a long enough period of time till the compounded effect kicks in and they have success, okay? What they do is they exercise the simple disciplines versus what unsuccessful people don't do is they exercise the simple error of judgments. They'll do it, then they don't do it, and they'll do it a little bit, and they'll do it for a while, then they come back, okay? And what happens when those people are doing the exact same thing, follow this, it's very important. You take one person, they read 10 pages of a good book one day, okay? Are they really successful that day? No. Does their philosophy shift much that day? No. Take another person. They don't read 10 pages that day. Do they fail that day? No. Does their philosophy go worse that day? No. So <clears throat> the difference between them is so subtle, you can't even notice it, right? The one doing it and the one not doing it. It's so subtle. But this is the slight edge. <clears throat> the other person does it 250 days over the next year consistently, okay? That's 2,500 pages. The other one person just kind of in and out, doesn't hardly do anything. And all of a sudden, you see there's a huge difference between them. It's the same thing in your business. You know, we always ask people to go out there and do two exposures a day. You know, you do your two exposures in one day, does that make your business explode? No. If you don't do them, does it make your business fail? No. But if you do that consistently over time, guess what? All of a sudden, the compounded effect kicks in. If you, 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 know, you live in denial or neglect, you, 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 do, you exercise a simple error in judgment, all of a sudden, you fail. So it's the same thing in personal development as it is in your business. They kind of work together, okay? So here's what I'm asking you to do. Understand the power of personal development and understand the power of the slight edge. If you understand that philosophy, because that's all it is, it's a philosophy that drives how to use information. Now, here's all I can say to you. Now, I'm not here to really promote the book, but I can just tell you this. This book has taken off all over out there. It's grown virally and organically. We've never marketed the book. We've never gave it a, a, anything but one phone number, one location to get the book. We gave it out to a few people, and it just took off on its own. You know why that is?